Uh, hello, good morning, Dong Jun. Can I have a, a can I ask you a few of questions about the leadership? Yes. Uh, so for question one, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Mm, I am Ding Dong Yun. I am a student from UMT and now is year one for, for accounting course. Okay. Then. So for question two, just to get to know your, you better, what is your hobby? My hobby is playing online games and cycling around when I have some, uh, like I have some time, so I will cycling and playing games. Okay, I see. So have you even been a leader in any assignment or group projects? Yes, I've been become a leader for group assignment. Yeah, and project also have. And do you have any leadership experience and could you benefit tell us about one of your memorable experience being a leader? Uh, yes, I can. Um, I've been um, a, a vice president of a program that is about the community for disabled people. So at that time, uh, we are leading the groups, the teams to make this program. And uh, how to say it, it is a very uh, memorable uh, because that is the first time I have included in the club's program. Hmm. Okay, I see. So in your opinion, what do you understand about leadership? Uh, leadership is a type of like, uh, you are a leader and you need to lead a person or a team to make the job done well. This is what I know about leadership. And in your opinion, what characteristic do you think a leader should have? Mm, a leader should have be responsible, um, credibility, yeah, and must fair to their, to his or their like member okay. and which supporting skill do you think are most important when it comes to leadership mm, i think uh be a leadership a person must have a like how to say have a more knowledge than others like how to separate the job to each member how to how to manage the relationship between the members this is the support support like what to say uh, for the like leadership for the leader must have okay and why leadership is vital to society huh for question, <laughs> for question eight, why leadership is vital to society? Yeah. Why leadership is vital to society? Um, leadership is vital for society because, um, like, uh, our country need a prime minister to lead us in the future in every decisions made by government. Uh, so the leadership is very important in the society because we need someone that will lead us to a brightness or a more good. Uh, future so leadership is important for society okay 
and for question nine, John have sent a have say if your action inspire others to read more, the more do more and become more, you are the leader. Do you agree with the statement? Yes or no? And tell, can you tell me why? Um, yes, yes, I think yes, because uh, the leader is the one who can like affect others to become a better, uh, more good people. So if like John, right, John can inspire others, so he has the great, uh, like the leadership. He is a leader. Mm, okay. So for the last question for the general question and if you are assigned to be a leader, how do you be the great responsibility to your team? Um I will how to say I will I will make uh, I will give every task for each member is fair fair and I will um, like check their work to make sure that they can send the work in the um, the due that we have do. Uh, yeah. So we now move to the next part. For question one, based on your experience being a leader, what kind of leadership style do you always use um that more question and how do you measure success for you as a leader um i measure success as i have done my work well and i have handled my member well so this is the like measure success as i am a leader okay so what kind of Criticism do you most get? <clears throat> like uh, when our lecturer is uh, checking our process and they have some mistake in the like PPT, so this is the criticism I get because I can't give them a very correct guideline about what must do in the PowerPoint. Okay. So how do you get others to accept your idea? Um, I will let out the evidence and and use use and speak to them that uh, this is a more acceptable idea and why and the evidence. So uh, this can make them to accept my idea. Okay. And how would you go about Realizing a team member in rabbit. Um, I will not. I will not pressing them because uh, I only will help them explain what they have to do at the public and show their effort. I will not pressing them. And how often do you feel it necessary to meet with your team? Um, I feel two once, two week once. Okay, and if you are assigned to be a leader of a group, how do you usually motivate your team? Um, and how I will you motivate my team? I will like tell them that this is not uh their own individual assignment and this is our group assignment. So please done it well and make it serious to to motivate them that we are a team and we need to get the mark together. And based on your experience being a leader, what were the most difficult 
decision to write? Um, in separating the tasks is the most difficult uh, decision to make because uh, maybe it's unfair to others because some task is little and some task is more so this a uh, difficult decision to make. And in a group project, is it is normal to have conflict among the members. So as a leader, how do you go about resolving conflict? Um, as a leader, I will, uh, I will bring them together who have made the conflict. I will bring them and talk to them uh, personally. Hmm. So for the last question, failing or having bad news is very usual in mostly group projects. As a leader, how would you deliver the bad news to the members? Um, I will straightforward to tell them the bad news that we have get. Yes. Okay, so that's all uh for my question and thank you very much see you okay. next time